Hey, Woodcutters, Topsaw here. Today I was gonna go over how to coil up a cam strap and also how to coil up a ratchet strap. It's pretty quick and easy. Uh, I always like them nicely coiled. Not only are they easier to find and separate and then deploy, uh, they just look so much neater than a big piled mess. I usually use cam straps like this for tying down like a kayak or something lightweight and ratchet straps for something a little heavier like a motorcycle and a trailer. The way I coil up the cam strap is I find the midpoint and it doesn't, I mean, you could tell I have a kink in this one. So it kinks, the buckle is up and then I double roll it over itself like this. So I'm rolling it into the buckle like that. And I have a pretty long tail on it. So it's not really quite the half. So I have about a foot of tail on there. So I roll it all the way up. I get here. It's on the inside. I take this tail, I go through, not the cam buckle, but the back part of it. I go around the whole roll and go through the cam strap. Then I cinch it down. It'll stay together really nicely. You could thread this anywhere. You got a tab to hold it on to. Okay, and then the ratchet strap, here's a buckle part of it. And then here's the other piece on the right here. Let's find the end. There's the end. So just like I'm gonna deploy this, I set it up like I'm gonna use it. I push the end through here and come around, and then I pull it all the way through. So I pull this all the way through. And then, you know, every strap will be a little different, but you'll be able to adjust it a little bit because there's a little resistance there. And then I'm gonna find the midpoint. It doesn't really even have to be the midpoint. You could do a fair bit shorter than the midpoint, but at least you're double rolling a portion of it. So then I'm gonna roll this towards itself That's kind of it. And then I take this buckle and I turn it sideways and I clip it right on there. If I don't have enough, I could let a little more out or I could shorten it either one. So this is too short, let a little more out. And then I hook it on there like that. So I still have this long end out so I could hang it on a hook. And then when I'm ready to use the ratchet, I just undo this, hook it to whatever I'm pulling and then I'm ready to start ratcheting. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully it was informative. My system's a little different than other folks because um, I just leave this one not in there. If you, I'd love to hear your comments below if you think it's a better way to do it or a good way to do it. And if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. This channel is all things wood, from tree work to woodwork.